Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Kara Savio. We've been talking today with Scott Legrand and Mike Petty about Karaoke Man, a wonderful romantic comedy. And I, I, I want to see it. I mean, you guys made me want to see it. I'm it's really to, fun. I'm trying to get the ending out of them, but they won't, <laughs> they won't quite give me the ending. Okay, before the break, we were talking about, um, Caitlin, how you, yeah. how you actually found the woman for this. Yeah, it's really hard. I mean, she, the girl, she, she has to be a true singer-songwriter because she sings on, on the street in the movie and at a bus station. And I was like, who can we find who can do this, who can act and sing and play the guitar and all these things? We went to singer-songwriter nights, my writing partner and I, and we would just sit and we'd watch all these girls and find out if they have an agent, can she act? No, we looked at, geez, I don't know, a thousand different girls. And one day I went on Google and I typed in girl busker, you know, girls, somebody who sings on the street. And her, her, her YouTube clips came up. And I watched her, and I, I called Scott on the phone. I was like, Scott, I found the girl. He's like, what are you talking about? You found the girl. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I'm telling you, I found her. We have her. And he says, where? I said, on the internet. He's like, oh, great. This yeah. is a joke. We're I was like, it's out. not a joke. Right. It's not a joke. Find this girl. Her name is Caitlin Crosby. I don't know how you do it. Whatever you producers do. You know, and I'm pretending like I'm a real director. I'm like, just do it. Just do it. Like, just yeah, find right. her. Find that girl. Like, yeah. And I'm like, she could be in Australia for yeah. all they know. It's Find YouTube. Her, it's Scott. worldwide. You're right. the producer. Right. Yeah. And it turns out she was right around the corner from us. We had a connection. Oh, lucky. She knows James Denson, who's in our movie. Right. And um, so the world just came together, a little six degrees of separation. Yeah, when we first brought her in for the interview, we, 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 we knew the name Crosby, but mm -hmm. there could be a thousand Crosbys. Right. So yeah. we're just talking to her, and she starts telling a story about her dad, whom we know. And we and realized, like, wait a second. Oh my gosh. We, we know your dad. Right. So it was really, it was really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. And luckily, we, we had sort of cast her already, so we didn't have to call in a favor, but then it was nice to be able to call him and go, we yeah, found we your daughter, this. we love her, she's fantastic. Yeah. And she'd gotten out of acting for a little while. And what's her father do? Her father's a manager in Los Angeles. Yeah, he's kind of like this legendary guy that everybody knows in LA. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah, he yeah kind of larger than life, fantastic right. guy. Okay. And she's actually sung with James Denton for his charity event, which is banned from TV. And okay. they've sung together for charity events. And, and when, we, when we called Jamie and told him, he said, I don't know why I didn't think of it. She's perfect for yeah, the yeah. role. Yeah, she really yeah. is. She just. And she nails it. She absolutely nails it. She's perfect. She doesn't have one wrong moment in the whole movie. It's, it's really cool. It's always one of those they tell you late. Yeah. yeah. I, would, I should have known. I should have thought of that. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised that you had so much trouble finding. So it's hard to find actresses that can act and sing, huh? Yeah. You know, you think it would just be one of those things that would just appear. Like you would call agents and managers and say, hey, send in the 10 girls who you think are right for this role. And, and people were like, uh, I don't know, maybe I have a kind of girl, she's a musical theater girl, and that's what you can't have. It's not about having a good right. voice. You need a it's girl about having this, this legitimate yes. Yes. thing. And she writes her own songs, and she plays the guitar, and she, she's fantastic. Right. Yeah. Okay, so how'd we end up with Mike the Plumber? Ah, that's interesting. Um, my wife and one of the executive producers and James Denton were all in the same theater company in Chicago. So Jamie has been, I'm a playwright, Jamie's been in a couple of my plays, one of which Scott produced, and we just called in the favor. And we didn't ask, we just said, we wrote a role for you and you have to come and do it and we're paying you zero dollars. <laughs> so so, come, uh, so come, come and show up. And then Brian was exactly the opposite. We didn't know him at all. Um, our casting agent said, hey, you know Brian Dietz and he's on NCIS? We're like, yeah, we know, the guy's great. He's like, yeah, he wants to come in and and auditioned for Lewis. Which he never happened. He wanted to come in. He wanted yeah. to come in, which he never happened. In, he they came usually in say, the... I want that part, and they won't audition because they're like, you can see me on television. I don't right. Yeah. Right. So how yeah. did he hear about the part that he just um, His manager you know, gave him the script, and, and he came in. He went to first round of auditions, came back for callbacks, you know, came and did the scenes with four or five you know, other actors. So you guys didn't take him the first time when he came in? No, we wanted him, absolutely. But you know, we wanted to make sure he was comfortable and fit Oh, you with... just wanted to make him sweat. <laughs> <laughs> so you made him come back. Yeah. And he yeah. did. That's and he really was great. cool. Yeah. He was a really great. Yeah, movie. we wanted him to, to see if he had any chemistry with Caitlin, which they absolutely 100% do. Wow. Yeah. Well, you guys, this is going to be a fantastic show and cool that you're from St. Louis. Yeah. That is wonderful that you've come back. Uh, thanks so much. And you guys are a good team, I can yeah, tell. Thanks so much. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for hanging and out. And you're going to be there on Saturday for You know so, what? I'm so going to see fan club, you know. Look again, Karaoke Man, it says, <laughs> November 19th at 4 o'clock at the Tivoli. And then an after party at Blueberry Hill. And you guys, if you come out, you can actually meet celebs. Mm. 
and the celebs Mike Petty and Scott Legrand. They're standing right here with me. We'll be there. It'll be great. Okay. It'll be lots of fun. Thanks, you guys. Good luck. Thanks so right. much. Thanks so much, Gary. <laughs> well, thanks so much for being with us. Remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going around St. Louis. Friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can always watch us streaming live on STLTV.net. Coming up next, we're going to be talking to Bob Toppler about Voltron Force. Sounds serious, so stay tuned to STL TV.